Hello, my beautiful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can just clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, let's see. Alrighty, so for my Librans in separation, Bottom of the deck, it says understanding, okay? I see your side of the story. So Libra, there could be something in particular that you were trying to express to this person that they failed to understand in the past and now they're like, okay, there's some truth in what Libra said or, you know, I'm starting to see why Libra, you know, did what they did or said what they said. There's more of an understanding, okay? So the first card we have here, guys, is absence. It says, I feel like a part of me is missing without you. So, I mean, needless to say, they're definitely feeling your absence. They are missing you. An energy of longing here. And then it says space. I need more time to think. Okay. So a part of this person feels like this separation was much needed where, you know, they need the time to think. They need to figure their self out. You know, there's a lot that they have to, you know, uh, figure out within them. But they also miss you during the process of it. I feel like you are still on this person's mind. They're still thinking about you, but they're trying to do the right thing. So let's see what Tarot has to say. <clears throat> Alrighty. For my Librans in separation. So we have the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups as well as the Three of Cups. Okay. A lot of missing. Okay, I do see that for sure. And there could even be, you know, someone in this person's life, you know, aside from you, obviously, because I do see two women here and the three women in the Three of Cups card. I feel like there could be someone else that is bothering them or they're having conflicting opinions with this very person. For some of you, maybe it's a third party situation, but let's clarify. Starting off with the Ten of Wands here, guys, I feel like this is someone who feels very burdened by this ending. Like they're feeling a very heavy emotion. They know that things have come to an end, um, but they're very stressed out about it. And I feel like more than anything, they are missing you. So even if you know you guys did have some sort of conflict or misunderstanding, they miss you. Their emotions have not changed. They're just trying their best to accept some sort of ending, but it feels very heavy. Could be an earth sign that you guys are dealing with. We have the king of pentacles here. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of passion and this is someone because I see the king of wands on the bottom of the deck and the two of cups. So there's a lot of passion that you guys share between the both of you. But with the king of pentacles here, your person is more focused on offering you something stable. Okay. This could even be someone who was picking up a second job, or this is someone who is more career focused because how I'm viewing your person is someone who is trying to work on their self so they can be a better person for you. But even though they know that they need to work on their self or they're doing the right thing, it doesn't change the fact that they still miss you or feel your absence. That's the best way for me to explain it. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, so pretty much observing how to move to calmer waters with you or make peace with the situation. Six of Swords is like leaving behind what is mentally stressing you out because you are craving a peace of mind here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, that's someone who's in a very analytical period, right? They're starting to see, okay, what, what worked in the past? What did not work? What can I do differently moving forward? You know, how can I communicate my emotions in a different manner? Or even trying to change around their entire pro approach. Okay, so I see this person observing a lot, be, you know, analyzing what they could do differently is mainly what I'm getting here. Uh, what is the Ten of Wands? Yeah. 
Three of Swords. So there's still a major focus on the heartache that took place between the both of you. Okay, and this person is trying to fill some sort of void as well. We have the Three of Wands as well as the Page of Swords, Two of Pentacles. So there's, you know, keeping tabs on you, but they're also going back and forth with that Two of Pentacles energy. Like it's someone who's curious and they're wondering, okay, what is Libra doing? What are they up to? But they're not really sure what to say to you because Two of Pentacles is like an energy of figuring out, do I do this or do I do that? Do I say this or do I say that? Three of Wands. They're definitely feeling the distance between the both of you, but this person and feels Libra that they like in order to speak to you or in order to have a new beginning here it requires a lot of planning with that three of wands three of wands could be an energy of you know needing to make a solid plan or you know looking at uh you know the things in the fine print or looking at all the details before you actually execute what's on your mind so ten of wands as well as the three of swords lets me know that this ending that took place between the both of you that led to the separation could have been very very painful because with the three of swords upright guys your person is still very much focused on the hurt that took place between the both of you they're still very focused on that you know um, they're still hurt by it so they could be replaying a scenario in their mind they could be thinking about what was said between the both of you it's still affecting them on an emotional level more so mental because they're thinking about it and swords is more so it speaks about you know what what you're thinking about or what's affecting you like i said on the mental uh level here so what is the three of swords for some of you things uh came to an end here um due to the fact that something felt very burdensome like ten of wands could be an ending after things feeling very one-sided or just very heavy like in terms of okay in order to work on this connection i have to do a b and z but i feel like there's so much i have to do in order to have a turn of events i'm throwing my hands up or this feels too exhausting or this is overwhelming me and i want to take a few steps back that kind of energy so what is the three of swords very determined to move on from the heartbreak though heartbreak though i will say that nine of wands as well as the queen of cups on the bottom of the deck here they miss your nurturing energy libra like they miss your loving side when you know you would call them sweet names or tell them that everything is going to be okay because nine of wands either means that someone here is quite literally blocked or this person feels like the blocked communication between the both of you is really affecting them because how they view you is someone who is a very kind soul but at this time you're on the fence you're very guarded nine of wands is more of an energy of like okay well i don't know if i trust the situation so i'm just going to keep you at a distance right like even if i'm going to open up to you or even if i'm going to speak to you it's going to be to an extent so there's some sort of clear boundaries that you have set that this person is aware of um chariot you know very determined to move forward and they are wanting things to kind of pick up the pace here so when they think about the situation they feel a bit fidgety they kind of wish that things would um move a bit faster here so what is the king of pentacles page of cups yeah they still have a lot of emotions for you but this could also let me know that this person is viewing you as someone who wanted more from this connection and they weren't ready for that because we have the king of pentacles but we have the page of cups which means your person may feel like they handled things in an emotionally immature way or there was some sort of emotionally uh or uh yeah emotionally immature uh a communication that took place between the both of you because the page of cups is in the middle right so in no way am i playing the blame game here guys but it does seem like something here could have been handled in a very immature way so for example whether it's you know you said something to this person and you feel like their response was very childlike or vice versa but it's almost like wanting more from a situation but feeling like you did not do enough to attain that right because you know king of pentacles is very stable energy you know someone who's a provider someone who wants something for the long haul but the page of cups is like the emotions are there but it's a page right the pages are the youngest in the deck so this could translate into emotional immaturity this could speak about someone who doesn't feel emotionally ready someone who was possibly uh you know like a connection that developed as you know maybe a crush or more on a passionate level and then when it came to taking things to you know another space or or moving on to something larger uh, when it came to the connection there seems to be a blockage 
Okay, so what is the Page of Cups? There could be an age gap between the both of you also. That could that could be possible. Six of Wands. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, you know, there's an energy here of maybe being more like one party here seem to be more focused on their self or like career success or maybe, um, you know, having uh, receiving attention from multiple different sources during the time of this bond. That's what I see. Like whether that's you, Libra, whether that's your person, because it's in the middle again, guys, I'm just reading the energy. But it seems like one person here was more focused on uh, possibly like they thrive off of attention you know six of wands is when you have a lot of eyes on you it is talk it does talk about a successful energy so you know while you were getting to know this person maybe you felt like they were neglecting you or a lot of things were working out for them so they weren't really focused on this bond but now they're solely focused on you so it's almost an energy of tables have turned here okay guys um so seven of pentacles Yeah, two of pentacles. Still wondering what to do here. The Hierophant. So this is someone who desires a commitment with you. Could be a Taurus. Um, we have Virgo energy on the bottom of the deck. But it's someone who's trying to figure out how to do something in the correct manner. Seven of pentacles and two of pentacles is someone who is still going back and forth, uh, figuring out the right thing to do because they want to do something um, right the first time like it's not someone who is wanting to just you know uh say something and hope that you know you will forgive them or say something and hope that you guys will you know fly off into the sunset like there's more of a practical mindset here and with the hierophant i will say as much as your person wants uh, a commitment with you there could be a difference between the values that you guys share like what you value or your moral code your belief system versus theirs because as much as the hierophant does talk about commitment it also talks about your values, you know, what you're wanting from the connection. So it goes back to what I was saying here, guys. It could have been that you wanted more from this connection at, at you know, during the, uh, you know, time of this bond, but you felt like your person wasn't necessarily meeting you halfway, or they now want more from the bond, but you've moved on. Like there's like an energy of tables turning. So whichever end you're on, I just feel, Libra, that there is a very strong energy of someone maybe being very caught up or, or focused on something else and now realizing okay i want a commitment i do feel like this could be stable but then there's another party here who felt very neglected uh what's the two of pentacles yeah eight of cups so this person feels like if they continue to be indecisive or if they take a while to figure out what to say to you they sense you walking away because as of right now eight of swords eight of cups right? Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. They view you as someone who feels a bit stuck on the situation, but you're trying your best to emotionally detach. So they feel like you're a very determined individual in terms of, okay, this is not no longer serving me. I need to move on. But they do sense you are still thinking about them, or they do sense that you are still, like, they're still on your mind. Because Eight of Swords could be like a mentally stuck energy. But the pro of the card is the fact that, you know, it's a self-imposed mental prison where you could take yourself out of that energy. So seven of pentacles, two of pentacles, eight of cups. What I see in the near future here, Hierophant, if you feel like your values don't align with this person, but more specifically, if you feel like this person here is taking a while to reach out to you, or you know, even if you reach out to them, if you feel like there's an indecisive behavior, you may be choosing to walk away with that eight of cups. Not to say that it won't be difficult, but it's almost like you're starting to realize that, like, how do I explain this in a, give me a second, guys. Let me just gather my thoughts. Okay, so like Libra, some of you are starting to realize that something about this connection feels very familiar, but just because it feels familiar or just because this is all you've known, it doesn't mean that this is the best you could have. Like there's some sort of realization that you're having because, you know, it's really easy for me as a reader to say, oh, well, Libra, Eight of Cups, you're choosing to walk away. But what the Eight of Cups really means is you're walking away because there's a key component missing, okay? You are not emotionally satisfied. And it feels difficult because you're moving away from something that feels familiar. But just because it's familiar doesn't mean it's good for you. Just because it's familiar doesn't mean that, doesn't change the fact that your person is still indecisive or, or uh, you know, per se, taking a while to tell you what they want, right? 
for some of you it's not indecision it's a general read that could vary but i just see some of you having some sort of realization where you're like okay the emotions are here but if i'm not getting what i want from the situation i need to walk away some of you may have a realization that you are you know the values here are playing a large role like what you value versus your person so what is the hierophant okay the fool yeah some of you are more focused on a new beginning and i will say if you are focused on having a new beginning with this person it may take some time because seven of pentacles yes that's great that they're in a very observant energy they're analyzing what to do next but two of pentacles is someone who is still undecided someone who is still going back and forth here okay guys so let's see if there's anything this person wants to communicate to you Alrighty. Okay, bottom of the deck, it says, you are so different from everyone around me. So you have a way of understanding this person, Libra. I do feel that way. Um, maybe there is an energy of this person feeling that they can confide in you about a lot that they can't really tell anyone else. Split the deck and it says, they have hurt me. And I did mention, guys, like there could be this energy of this person feeling undecided. Maybe they had to decide between two people. They have hurt me could also be an energy of someone who is self-sabotaging or projecting what has happened in their past onto this relationship here. But for those of you that, that are aware that this was a third-party situation or your person was indecisive due to the fact that they still had ties to someone else, well, there's your answer, right? Maybe the grass wasn't greener on the other side here. Um, what does this person want to tell Libra? I wish to be like you. Yeah, this person holds you on a, or puts you on a very high pedestal here. I wish to be like you. There's a lot that they admire about you. And I do feel like there's a sense of balance or stability that you offer this person. They may even feel like you are very decided on what you want, you know, clearly, like you clearly know what you want here, that sort of thing. Um, cause even as the, uh, with the Hierophant as well as the Fool, this person feels like when you decide what you want, um, you take a leap of faith, right? Like you are like you have more faith in what you want than they do. It's almost like they feel like they either care about the opinion of others or they just there's some sort of like very stable or certain, okay, certain energy that you exude here. Okay, so there we have the uh, a beautiful three-letter word, right, guys? <laughs> um, I obviously have to be careful with what I say here. I have all ages watching my channel, but there's a lot of passion, okay? There is an energy of this person wanting to uh, connect with you again, be in your company, right? They are craving your physical affection. And for some of you, maybe this connection started off more as a crush energy, like I mentioned, or more like friends with benefits or something more passionate. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. So this person feels like you were a very large part in their life. They looked forward to speaking to you, hanging out with you. And there's some sort of void that this person is trying to fill now that you guys are not speaking. I don't know where to start. So this person feels like they have a lot that they want to tell you. And this makes sense because seven of pentacles, observing two of pentacles, going back and forth. The reason why they're undecided in terms of what action to take is because they have a lot going on in their mind. So it's someone who feels like there's so much mumbo jumbo on my, on my mind. I don't know where to start. I don't know what my first steps should be. Okay. So my wonderful Librans, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.